Dwight, he is one of the best middleweights in the world and a man who has a great chance to bring a world title to South Africa. The middleweight contender, Drakus Duplessis. He's got power, he's got a lot of physical tools, underrated on the ground, and really he's been underrated every step of his UFC career. You had to look far and wide to find anyone that gave him a modicum of a chance going into that Robert Whittaker fight at UFC 290, and he absolutely bludgeoned the former champion at that point in time, there was nothing left to do with the South African Duplessis but to find him a title fight. And now we see just how world-class Drakus Duplessis really is. Still undefeated, here is Hamzat Shimaev making the walk tonight as a middleweight. A lot of people think eventually he's gonna be a UFC champion and he's got a big fight in front of him tonight. I mean, this guy's a monster. You know, from his mindset to the way that he competes. Hamzat Shimaev is one of those guys that passes the eye test. The moment you lay eyes on him, you said this kid has something special about him. He has great wrestling, he has great striking, he has great cardio. The guy has it all. And I'm so excited to once again watch him compete and sit here in his seat and call his fight. The work ethic has never been an issue, perhaps the diet at times when it comes to getting down to 170 pounds. But this man is a problem and ready to impose his will here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Hamzat Bosch Chibaya. Herb Dean, our third Great. man in the octagon for this Great. one. Great. All right, let's see how it goes early on in this one as we get round one underway. Great to have you with us tonight. And a lot of people are tuning in to see what South Africa's Drakus Duplessis can do as the MMA challenges get stiffer. It was an amazing rise to prominence for this man, highlighted, of course, by the win over Robert Whitaker. But can he sustain it? Can his body hold up? Durability has been a little bit of an issue. There is no denying the skill set, the appetite for knowledge, the commitment to the world title but this is the toughest fight, at least on paper, of Drakus Duplessis' career. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Oh, big elbow. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Duplessis. Uh, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Scramble, scramble, scramble. Duplessis in half guard. There it is, now he's going to mount. Massive shot from the top. Another ground and pound strike lands. 
outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Under two minutes now to go in round one. She might have been half guard. Big ground and pound. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. And there it is. Another strike on the ground gets through. Oh, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. I need you to move, scramble. Like that. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Duplessis right back to the full mount here. He's got to be careful here. Constantly a moving target. Lands with the ground and pound. Round two next. All right, back to the stools we go, and that is a really severe cut, so we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in there. All right, back to the stools we go. Offensively, a lot to like from him, but on defense, he hasn't been able to stop anything tonight. Yeah, it's got to be the whole game, though, John. He's got to be willing and able to do everything. He's done a good job on the offensive side, but he has not defended well, and now he's dealing with that nasty cut. That cut is going to be an issue as the fight goes forward. He's got to change something. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is underway. Just continues to get targeted by well, his opponent. Well, he's a bloody mess, J.A. He's been beat up. The guy has been targeting the eye. And now, the cut is at a stage that I don't know if he's going to be able to be in there much longer. Shumayev's doing a nice job there raising the guard to protect the eye. He's got her here. Oh, nice level change. Now he's going to pull him out. He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Shimaev's back in full mount. Under three minutes here to go in the round. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Shimaev's back inside control here. Great submission defense on this play tonight. Oh, good ground and pound here. Shimaev's right back to the full mount. Nice transition. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game tonight. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. Punch after punch is starting to land in the top position. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pin in the triangle now. Submission defense. Oh, he 
interesting there as he just decides to let him back up. Shumayev's cut has really uh, opened up now. Uh, that uh, blood uh, is flowing. Didn't necessarily wake up thinking he was going to be donating blood today. He has donated a whole lot. All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. All right, so the cut man attends to the fighter who has essentially been rendered a one-eyed fighter at this point in time. Some replays from the previous round. No defensive intent, no defensive intensity. No attention to his defense, and this costing him. Now he's dealing with a massive cut over his eye, and that's going to make it hard for him to see. He's got to change something, man. He's got to. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go with this third round of this championship. Oh, he's got a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot. Ready to land. Great job. Beautiful. Beautiful transition. Nice shot there by the champ. Duplessis getting peppered here from the top. He's got to figure out a way to cover up. Gotta be careful here. He's setting up a submission attempt. Oh, he might be in trouble. That looks locked in. He's advanced to a finishing position. Too much. I mean, I'm not sure I need to see this fighter absorb any further damage here. Today. It's okay if his corner or the ringside position calls a stop to this thing. He has been battered, he has been beaten, and the result is not going to change. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Hamza Chimai. Trying to set up a submission now. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. Oh, that arm is in real trouble. He's got it isolated. He's looking to finish. Wow, somehow, some way, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. All these actions, though, these big actions, got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. In the half guard. Duplessis back in full mount. Great defense by the defensive fighter. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Let's see those elbows. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. She might have getting work from the top here. He's got to do a better job to cover up. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. All right, back to the stools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That gash is getting serious. We got a cut, but he's cut too. We knew this was going to be a bloody fight. I want you to be perfect. All right, well, no surprise to see that eye continue to be targeted. Some replays from the previous round in which a lot of damage was doled out. Well, the cut man's got some work to do to try to give this kid an opportunity to stay in the fight because the reality is he has taken far too many shots to the eye and now he's dealing with a nasty cut. He has got to change something. Ready to fight. Ready. Fourth round now. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything 10 minutes. It's getting really hard to watch 
him absorb shots on that eye. I wonder if the referee's thinking about it. Yeah, it was only a matter of time. You see the referee pausing the action here. They're going to call in the doctor to look at this cut. Might be the beginning of the end here. I mean, blood all over his face. He's been beat up, battered and bruised. He still wants to fight. Yeah. And the doctor doesn't, yeah, he doesn't care about the fans, doesn't care about your feelings at home. That will do it. That cut calls an end to things, and ultimately it'll go into the books as a TKO doctor stoppage. All right, so the doctor stoppage comes in the middle of this round, and ultimately too much damage sustained to that eye, and he was unable to continue. Well, you saw it over the course of the fight. The swelling got worse and worse, and over time, the referee has to truly think about the well-being of the fighter. In doing that, called in the physician, physician came and took a look, and you see the decision that was made. The official decision, it resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight. He played the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Gregor.